Ministry of Education and the Aras project we're working on this uh, sign of project and today we try to conclude the sign of of nine out of 15 textbooks for the education system in the Republic of Liberia. Uh, these were produced on the IRAS project component three that was due. So I want you to please stay posted. The Ministry of Education will bring you latest development regarding the uh, textbooks sign up project. On behalf of the communication division at the Ministry of Education, I'm Jay Max Sebiton, the Director of Communication. Ministry of Education. Oh, you, you see this? Yeah. yeah. We will scan this and you can reach the entire book. And if you scan the yes. inside yeah. for every chapter, each chapter has it. Each chapter, each chapter has, chapter a, has a separate one. Yeah. So for this chapter, everything that is required for this chapter for supplementary material will be here. You know, I see. Yeah. One era we have had giving very little attention to is the middle school, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got nothing. Yeah. And they're struggling to get to this level. That's right. That would be the next phase mm -hmm. of our yeah. yeah. There's a lot of attention, ECE, yeah, yeah, yeah. primary, yeah, but seven, eight, and nine look like uh, a forgotten song. <laughs> there has to be a way for, yes. Yes. Yeah. And you know, Minister, they, I think that approach is even good. There's something yes. called vertical alignment. Yeah. So, you know what they are supposed to, where they are supposed to be going. Yes. Yeah. So now that we know where they are supposed to be going, we be adequately prepared. Yeah, to get to them. prepare them to get over there. So that's the right approach. So that would be very helpful. Extremely helpful. Yeah, that these, books will, these books will help. And one thing we'll be asking for, Minister, we will want our own specialists here to look at the curriculum and go to open source as well. Yeah. And write out our books and then we can ask the publisher to come print for us. Yeah. And for us, going to attempt to develop it for us, let yeah. us develop it ourselves. Learn from here. And you can let people edit. I mean, and you always have to. Sure. She's, she's, she's around out. the world. You she's can be inside that. Yeah, yeah. You will be able to even have videos. Yes. of lessons. So you can't say that I'm not learning the material because I don't have a teacher to teach me. Right? You can scan the code and the video instruction we provide. What can you do and you solve the problems? So now you can learn from any location. If you want to. Yeah, if you want to. I think, yeah, they, I think, to. I think they will want to. No, but now, <laughs> I am thinking that at least attractive books, children might want to pick them up. You remember our first conversation? I was yeah. thinking that, that the children, children would, would be very attractive to the books and might want to learn, even, even if they, they learn 20% of it, we are good. Yeah. Yes, as it will be. Yeah. What, what if we engage the private schools uh, to take interest in acquiring the books for their students? And we we'll go through the same process of mass producing. You want to pay for it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. can be free. Yeah. Government only going to pay for for, for this for public school. But the books are not just for no, no, public right school, right. for the whole school system. Yeah. Out of eight hundred public uh, senior high school, only one less, less than two hundred is government. Yeah. Okay, so, so that that percentage of the total school, mm -hmm. total secondary school, is not sufficient to represent uh, a performance. When you say the the system is performing. Mm -hmm. Those 200 uh, schools, they cannot represent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So there has to be a winner. Of course, I'm happy with the digital stuff. Yeah. But, but. Um, These 
these are things that I like for us to bring up. Access to learning materials. I'm Dominic Dubai, who actually together. He has with us to review a set of books for the Liberian schools, especially the, the high schools. And this work started months back where we were actually in total doing this simulation exercises at the RLG. Yeah, and also in person of Mr. Patrick Anderson from the Ministry, also along with the colleague Anaka Asakwe and our as the chairman of the team. So we carry on this exercise up to now. We're still in the final phase of the review. Uh, it was a teacher process though, very tedious enough. They have to do a lot of search and research over and over again until finally we are closing in on the, the final review, the final phase of the review. Uh, as I speak now, I'm doing the final review for the three, three books. 10th, 11th, and 12th, the 12th chemistry. And actually, we've done this and we are hoping that we will finally close the exercise with the final review so that we can allow the book to be printed for use by our students. That was a series of challenges, especially with with time allocation, especially the this tax, it was a difficult one. We have to sometimes take the, the, the work home to 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 do it in short short space of time. That was that was the major event time. But what we thank God that we got to close on it. It was difficult. The time was short, but at least we are able to finalize. That was at the major event of the world. Well, I'm Moses K. M. Toba. Um, I was invited here as a physics subject specialist to be a part of this exercise. You know, in the past, we've been having problems you know, in schools, especially for our students who do these exams. Minister by the West African Examinations Council. When it comes to textbooks, so when this exercise came out, we invited to give our expertise and we wholeheartedly embrace the idea. We are happy to be a part of this exercise to show that librarian students have the books. The learning materials required for them to perform any public examinations in other countries. That's why we chose to come. Our being here has been very fruitful because it's fruitful because we feel proud having chosen this field as our career, the field of education, that we can contribute. To, the, to developing the minds of Liberian students. And we are proud of that. And this is what we've been involved in for a little, a little over 20, 25 years, and we are still part of it. We are proud of it. Through this exercise, it's fruitful, but we've had some challenges also, especially with the, the duration. Maybe we could be looking at some of these things. We hardly classes to deal with. Grade, 11th grade, and 10th grade. And as I, as I, as I sit now, here now, I have completed all of the three books, except that I have to do the final review shown of the 12th grade. But 11th grade and 10th grade have been set. And as far as work is, con is concerned, I think they are ready for printing now. And we can assure all my brothers that our students will immensely benefit from this exercise in time to come. People will not have to be going out there to go for textbooks. Even though 
We state the state needs both to use them as supplementary text. But I think we can have our own prescribed textbooks here now, where we, we as Liberian professionals have contributed to getting them together. One major recommendation is these books will be in, in schools in the hands of teachers and students. I want to recommend, especially to the Ministry of Education, that there should be a series of workshops. If it will mean that we call all schools and provide our expertise, so that teachers can know how to use these books. These books are not books that you teachers should take in the classroom, go and just copy it directly from the book, word for word. Because what we've seen it happen in some schools over the years. So this is not the purpose of it. You read it and the students will have it. Use it to teach the students, not just to, just write. to write. Because I know like physics, mm -hmm. solving a physics problem on the board is different from teaching physics. So we need to take that into consideration. That's the only way people will be well monitored and will ensure that the books are utilized. Yes, I'm Isaac Silapo Zawolo. I am the superintendent of the Moroba Consolidated School System. I was invited to work on this team for the editing of uh, math, mathematics textbooks for 10th to 12th grade of uh, Nigerian secondary schools. Um, I, this process, this whole program, this whole initiative aligns with the government's proper agenda for prosperity and development by providing quality education to our students to give, to give them access to high paying jobs in the future to sustain our economy. Um, this was a very rigorous process. We took it extremely seriously. We consider it as a patriotic responsibility to make sure that the books coming out of here would meet international standards. It was also relevant to our culture, relevant, relevant to, to what was in our country. Uh, additionally, we felt this time Given the many the rapidly advancing technological advancements in our world, that we, that were, we, were, so we, we should include digital resources. So for the first time, these books will not just be books that students can just access hard copies. They will also have digital versions of the book. They will be able to online, online scan, scan the, code, the, code, the, code, the code, and then be able to have an online version of the book. But more than that, there will be also be video resources on the, the, the company's uh, websites. But it means that the Ministry of Education website for students will be even able to watch videos on instruction. You know, so now, you know, we are involved with 21st uh, learning. So learning is not anymore anymore to the class, the class, but the students can learn can learn any place and any time and time. We 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 are looking at uh, learning from a dynamic perspective. So learning is going to be always at the disposal of our students. Um, I think um, um, in, in terms of recommendations, I think uh, even with the book, uh, teachers would need additional training, and that training has to take place consistently. I think animal training, animal training teachers would be teachers. extremely important to ensure that the materials in these books are properly taught. Uh, we also want to want to. Uh, uh, we also hope that um, the teachers' guide will be available for the teachers, for the teachers and that will also be exposed to how they can use the teachers' guide to inform their, their instruction and to look at the pedagogy and to be able to you know uh, educate our children. So I want to thank uh, the folks, the Ministry of Education, and the entire team at the Ministry of Education. I also want to thank uh, 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 the folks at the Center for Excellence, Excellence for Textbook. I think uh, this is something that is going to be transformative, and they are writing their name down in history. It will never be. You know, like I said, I want to thank uh, Professor Dian Susoni for his far-sightedness uh, in launching uh, this, this uh, initiative, and I hope that uh, uh, this when is all said and done, our uh, children can benefit from it tremendously. Thank you. My name is James Fidwalu. I'm a member of the Library Association Writers, matter of fact, former president. president. And I'm a member of the Technical Working Group, the Ministry of Education the RIS project. Uh, I'm very much pleased to be a part of this team. 
because, because uh, uh, since, since the curriculum was developed in 2018, now we have the senior high test post coming on with five basic subjects. Mm -hmm. And, that's, and that's very good for us because as at the time the ministry came ready for the next curri curriculum review, that we will have something to work on to start from. And it's good that we have our own test books, Liberian test book covering the basic subjects, subjects contextualized. So uh, I'm very, I'm very much pleased, and the Library Association of Writers is also very much pleased to be a part of this process. And we also hope that, because the entire curriculum was done from grade 1 all the way to grade 12, we hope to also develop books, the ministry can also develop books in the other subject areas and grade areas and grade levels, levels too, because we cannot treat the curriculum uh, one side just from senior, senior half from 10th grade to 12th grade and leave from 9th grade down. Uh, it's the same cur reform curriculum. So I'd like to recommend to the ministry and the donors responsible for the funding of this project, the World Bank, to kindly support the, the production. production of test books in the other grade areas, the basic subjects from grade 9 down to grade 1. So um, it is an honor for me to serve on this group, the technical working group with the expertise and the knowledge sharing with other members of the team, we can make Liberia to rise in terms of the quality test book that comes into the classroom in the hands of our children, the teachers and even parents at home and other people who will take those books to read. We cannot learn with all books. It's very much important. Once you go to enter a classroom, you must have stories to read. Even in formal or not formal education, in formal education, we must have, must have some material to, to serve as guidance to me. And that's where test books and books come in uh, with our books. And we have to enhance learning in Liberia like, too. How to develop books that speaks to the issue. Uh, uh, as soon as you see a test book for Liberian schools, you know that Liberian students, when they take those books, they will know that the books are done for Liberian schools. So I'm very much pleased and thankful to the Bank, Bank, Bank in the Ministry of Education of Liberia for the development of the test books. It, 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 it's good now that uh, I guess we've come to the end of the the final process because we had to they had a bid up and they participated in the popular debate. So uh, we first had the ministry advertise the bid and then companies from all over the world participate participate in the bid opening here and then finally we've come to a group that selected to, to continue, continue the work and from seeing what they've done here they've done a excellent job and so uh, the whole process matter of fact was trans very much transparent that's how it should be you know test book production is not something that should be done on another deal it's okay. always good to be very much transparent. Well, thank you very much. My name is J. Emmanuel Milton, a member of the Technical Working Group on RS Component, Component 3.2, which has to do with the provision of teaching and learning material with specific emphasis on textbooks on this project. Or uh, as a technician, I want to speak to you based on my fee experience and what is happening in the classroom. Over the years, our students and teachers have been learning about the availability of appropriate textbooks as is required by, by the, the National Reform Curriculum. And therefore, the government of Liberia and the Ministry of Education is blessed through this ARAS project to have other or place in for the provision of five, five subjects, including physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and English language. These five, these subjects, five subjects, the books are being printed for the senior high level. But this is what we want to emphasize as technicians and as a member of the technical working group. 
over the past months, we have been going through this strenuous exercise to ensure that the books are evaluated, they are thoroughly analyzed, and they will meet the demand of our, our curriculum. Therefore, we want to say thanks to the project, project and all and of those, those that are involved that in doing the review and analysis of the, uh, 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 the various textbooks. What is touching and based on our experience is that uh, there is a notion in Liberia that what belongs to government belongs to nobody. As a result, people develop the feeling that when these textbooks get to the streets or get to the schools in the various villages and towns, they will want to develop the concept to go and sell them, sell them as, as it happened in the past. We learned this experience from the GPE test books. So, we have decided within the curriculum de uh, department that right after the distribution of this particular test book, these five subjects that I'm talking about, there will be, there will be a, rigorous a rigorous monitoring, monitoring and evaluation, and evaluation of, the, of, the, of, the, of the utilization of the test book in all schools, in all counties, to ensure that students Teachers and whoever the textbook laying, uh, uh, laying in his hand is utilizing it the appropriate way. We will not, we will not allow any, anybody to sell them. We will not allow anybody to duplicate them or photocopy them for, for, for sale as it was done in the past. So we therefore want to warn our teachers, our school administrators, the students and parents to get involved in the appropriate management and utilization of these test books. In fact, if you open each of the subjects, there is chapter a chapter or page, or page developed on the management and security of these test books because who knows? It's today that we are getting a test book. We don't know how long it will take to get another test book. It takes a lot of, long, a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of negotiation for government to do this. So as we get these tests, let us hold them as a pressure jewel. Let us use them to the best of our ability. And one thing they will do is that uh, we ensure as technicians or as members of the TWG that these test books are contextualized. Exactly what is in the curriculum is what is written in those test books. So we want to let our people know in the public this time around that idea of selling one test book from one district to another, for selling test book from one school to another, it should stop. That's why we are saying that right after the distribution of the test book, there will be a rigorous mop up or exercise, exercise throughout the country to ensure that the test books are used effectively in all classrooms. Secondly, test books are not just a toy for students, no. They are also a research material for teachers and even parents. That's why if you look at the national curriculum, the curriculum requires that teachers sit down and plan their lessons per subject, per the period. Now, if you are planning the lesson, the textbook is there to help you plan that lesson appropriately. And therefore, and therefore we, want we want to advise our teachers in the classroom that, what, that whatever lesson plan you prepare, it should not be hidden. The students should know exactly what they're supposed to do this week or next week or even in the month so that they too can follow up with the study. And the textbook will help the students and the teachers together. So I want to say thank you to those who made it possible, especially the World Bank through the Government of Liberia and the Ministry of Education for making available these test books. We want to say thank you to the project management team and all members of the TWG who over the past months have made sure that these test books are fit for the appropriate classes and that our students will benefit and develop the appropriate skills from one class to another 
utilizing this textbook, especially, especially so in the five in subjects, subjects I, I, I talk, about, talk about chemistry, physics, biology, mathematics, and English language arts. Thank you very much. My name is Linda Dean. I am one of the evaluators for this IRAS project on the evaluation of textbooks in the areas of English, literature, science, and biology, and physics and chemistry and mathematics. It was a privilege for me to serve as one of the evaluators and to even go so far as to say that I learned a lot being part of this team. We were working on the textbooks that were produced by the various companies or building companies. And at the stage now where we are is the final editing stage so that the textbooks can go for printing. And being a part of this team this evaluation team has um, been very helpful in terms of editing, evaluating, and even going about the whole process of textbook evaluation. And I'm very happy because at this time, our students will have textbooks in their areas, in their levels. That is, if you're in the 10th grade, you will have, for example, the 10th grade English and Literature textbook. If you're in the 12th grade or 11th grade, it will be the same. Unlike before where we only had senior high English textbook or senior high literature textbook. Now it's class specific so that our students will be more grounded in the areas of English and Literature. I, I speak for English and Literature because that's my area and they wouldn't have to struggle looking for textbooks. And so in this light, I would like to say a big thank you to the World Bank for being one of, for being the major sponsor for this project, to the Ministry of Education for facilitating the process, and to all those who were part of this textbook project, making sure that our children, our students, are helped in getting the relevant textbooks so that they succeed in their learning. And so I appreciate going through this exercise and we look forward to having the same exercise done for our middle school students, that is the junior high students. And so we hope that we can all be a part, part of the process, process so, so that, that all of us can be proud in the end knowing that we were part of the process to help our children to get what they need to succeed in their studies. I'm Julia K. Cindy Mimpia. I'm the Executive Director for the Center of Excellence for Curriculum Development and Textbooks Research. Also, I'm the Technical Lead for the subcomponent under the IRS project, component subcomponent 3.2, that is providing teaching and learning materials to senior secondary school. And today we've reached a milestone, a milestone in that where we are carrying out the sign off of those books that are going to be printed and distributed into our classroom, our senior secondary classroom. All of the evaluators have spoken. As you know, we are doing five books. And this is a history making for our country because these books are class specific. Mr. Abraham A. Kessler II, on behalf of the technical working group, of which I am technically for subcomponent 3.2 that has to do with the uh, providing teaching and learning materials for 
senior secondary school. And all of our high working subject specialists, we've reached a milestone again for this project. Today, we've given sign off for nine books. And I think before the 15, we'll be done with all of the 15 books and the teacher's guide. Present this to you as a letter to say that it's a don't do for now, for now books. And thank you for entrusting us with this. And say, we extend our thanks also to the World Bank for this grant that want to significantly be a history for our country. For the first time in our country, we're going to have class specific book. Also, to so our textbook experts, you are a gem. Thank you for everything. Thank you Thank for you. all of the support. Thanks Thank a lot. Ms. Julia Sandy Mayfia, Dr. Shreta Upal, our hardworking list of subject experts who have made the sacrifice for the which the milestone we have achieved today. Uh, I want to say congratulations to all of you for adding your name or names to an indelible imprint in the educational history of the area. As your technical working group leader have just said, and I also school, at least at the secondary level in this country, this is the first time in the history of our country to receive a biology book that is grade specific. To say this book is a 10th grade biology book, and this book is a 11th grade biology book, and this book is strictly a 12th grade biology book. And the same goes for the rest of the other four subjects because we have been far in all biology, chemistry, physics, English language, and mathematics. But do nowadays in this country is one math book for 10th, 11th, 12th, one biology book for 10th, 11th, 12th, and so on and so forth. And we are changing the dynamics around so we can have a more grade level concentration on the topics and the subject matter. Oh, you are putting a lot of time. We know what it means to edit books, review books, and make sure they are contextualized, but also globally competitive while they remain locally relevant. So I really want to appreciate you for all of your time in putting into this. It is my understanding that uh, out of the 15 textbooks that are supposed to come for each of the subject area, each of the grades, five subjects, three different grade levels, so 15 or nine books are already concluded and just left to be presented to the publisher for printing. And uh, six more books are to come and then we look at them also, approve them, and send them to the publisher for printing. I really want to appreciate you on behalf of the Governor of Liberia, the Ministry of Education, and my own boss, Professor Dao and Susoni, who is very passionate about releasing teaching learning materials, relevant, contextualized teaching learning materials to the education system, especially at senior secondary level in Liberia. We are hoping that uh, as we move from this project and another project comes up, we'll be, you'll be ready to help us to also get quality, relevant, contextualized teaching learning materials for the junior secondary level, what you call the Liberia junior high schools, but also the elementary level and the early child education level. We hope that that can happen for us. I'm more than convinced because we are designing another project very soon, the compact project that is more holistic from ECE to senior secondary. Maybe when we design that project for the senior secondary, it will no longer be textbooks. But for the ECE, primary, and junior secondary, definitely textbooks are going to be a critical part of it. So please be ready again to provide all your support. Thank you very much, and I really appreciate this. On that note, I would like to thank you. I would like to call on the publishing house, Star Educational Books Distributor Limited. Uh, we want to say to you, thank you for tendering in your request to support us, get quality teaching and materials. 
I will say this in all confidence that we've gone through the raw material that were presented to us at the Bay Evaluation level. We had three laws. Our predetermined decision was that no one from family will receive all three laws. Just because of the issue of delays and capacity. But you demonstrated for your package an exemplary, excellent performance and expectation. As such, we thought that we have to break the rules and then we don't care about delays, we don't think delays will come. You are proving to us that you can deliver all the goals in the required time. Well, thank you for the time you have put in. Sincerely speaking, sincerely speaking, this procurement process was adaptation of existing rules. So meaning that the, some of the detailed revision that has been done here was not required at the document document. But given your passion for your job to produce quality and ensuring that you have a compassion for a developing nation like Liberia to strengthen your education system, you are magnanimous enough to accept the rigorous review of the book, the rigorous revising of the book to the context of Liberia as it remains globally competitive. I want to say thank you, and want to tell you that uh, we have gone through that process for nine months, and I want to present this to you, and let me sign it first, and then I will present it to you, so that you can take this, and you can get ready for print. Sure. We have six books to go, work with us, that by the 15th, we can conclude everything on the student's level, but we can also focus on the teachers that were teaching any materials. We should call it teacher's guide. Thank you very much. I'm going to sign now and then we'll present it over to you on behalf of the Minister of Education, Professor Dao Alasusuni, who happens to be my immediate boss, but also on behalf of the World Bank team that I represent here as the Ministry of Education and the World Bank Our Rise Project is very much okay with the content of the nine textbooks. So please go ahead. I'm thankful to government of Liberia for doing such a great job for the students. They are the future of the nation. And Liberia is the first country in whole Africa which has adopted e-learning. Hmm. Nobody is talking about Liberia for doing such a great job. Maybe Liberia be the example for other countries how during difficult times also they will they want children to have education. So that's really nice and we will deliver the best books uh, for the students. Great. Thank you. And on time. On time. I'm Job G. Carpenter, biology specialist. Um, it's, it's a pleasure working on this project. And the project is actually designed to, to work on textbook, basically biology textbook for our high school students. And uh, it's of interest that it, it, it has been a kind of a intensive work, work that entails editing and making sure that uh, these textbooks are aligned with the national curriculum in YX7, YX7. What is of interest is that uh, we had a series of activities like our uh, first corrections that were made, the second corrections, and then our interaction with uh, publishers um, digitally, and then we were also at, uh, uh, knowledge of the fact that the learning of today is far different from what we did years ago. In our case, we have the opportunity to expose with them wherever they are, meaning that it's now going digital. So they study whenever they want. 
And, and of the most exciting thing is that the textbooks are up to international standard. You see, and I believe that uh, with these textbooks, our kids are going to fare for far better than they were before. The international exams. And uh Uh, I'm so glad that now we have concluded at least 9 out of 15 textbooks. The amount of effort that every expert, every subject expert put in this, uh, they perhaps were not used to the process of editing. It has taken three corrections, three rounds of corrections to reach to a point where it can be given as a ready copy to be printed which means that today these nine copies the publisher can easily tell back home to his printer team to start printing they'll start by papers they'll start by ink and maybe monday tuesday or wednesday sometime they'll start printing the books which means we are on time know that we still hope for that we will deliver our books in due time so we can be able to take it to our schools before the next school year commence. We appreciate you for your time, your effort, and we want to say thank you all for our thanks and appreciation to Mr. Fusini Agu and also our strong and energetic textbook expert. She's on our brain here, my fact, give her my little so she's still She's from the back county. And all of our strong team who tell us they continuously come and call them to say how's up. This process is not complete yet. It is complete when we receive our books from our publisher. So thank you ever so much, Mr. Kevin. Thank you, Thomas Sanchez. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First and foremost, I'd like to appreciate our subject experts. Well, my special emphasis of appreciation goes to Professor Zaulu. I went through that school system. I know the one that's struggling with that every day. And you have to be going, solving teachers' issues, solving students' issues, solving political issues, administrative issues here and there. And the gentleman was going to sacrifice his entire time. Right from the book. 
give them to us in the day evaluation. And the point was that we show all of the mathematics textbooks, which of course are the most voluminous textbooks between all the subjects. Giving all the standards to provide quality editorial, technical editorial or inputs into it, and ensuring that the books are now ready for the library student populace. I really want to say on behalf of the Minister of Education, Professor Zhao and Susunio, who happens to be my immediate boss, the entire senior management team of the Ministry of Education, the education system as a whole, the students, the parents, and the teachers want to say thank you for all your time you have put into this. I mean, the kind of sacrifice for your busy schedule is really appreciated, and this is going to go into history. And you sacrifice your time to provide teaching any materials for librarian students that are of quality and of relevance. Thank you very much. The same land of appreciation goes to all of the rest of our associates. I mean, you can look at Mr. Do. Somebody that is teaching way in the past school system, all the way in fact, I can't say in Habel, beyond Habel. And then any time we call on him, he's here, right from the days of the procurement process, the Bay evaluation, to this day that, in fact, all of the chemistry books were the first of the books to be completed in terms of edit. I want to say thank you for your time, and new goes into the education system history. history. And you have contributed to the teaching learning material provision for this country in this dispensation. It is wholeheartedly commendable, and your name goes in our history, the names are in the chemistry textbooks at the academy. Thank you very much. The same group of biology specialists, uh -oh, Professor Joe Capita. Huh? Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> in the in Liberia, once you're in the classroom, you have professor. Yeah, so we really appreciate you for all your time. Also, you are one of those that once you say, I will be there at 2 o'clock. You are at Sh yeah. Shimita's office 2 o'clock. We really want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate our faces. Man, there's one area to find a specialist in. It's very difficult. I would then, yeah. when we start out, then who can we find in the country that are having the background of physics education, not their pure physics? So we are very much worried. Uh, I want to talk about the doors of the Deputy Minister for Planning, Research and Development, uh, Ms. Uh, Honorable Arthur Vani Kessay, because I know he has a background, he's a PhD candidate in physics, but he does not have the time. And our, our senior brother, uh, Mr. Moses, Moses Toka, gave us all his time. And then the lot of the he's experienced. He has been this for long. He was able to guide us even how to document the authorship and the contributions in the book. We really appreciate it and I want to say thank you very much for giving your time to us. Uh, Madam Linda is not here, she's my colleague. We teach at the university together. As soon as this thing came and say, say you can be teaching at the university and you're on the radio all the time, teaching English. Linda did how to speak common English. Then you come and help us to write our English books or to improve our English books. So, English English she's 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 right she's now, I just want to say thanks to her. And the rest of you that actually to find the process, Mr. Patricia Doe, or uh -oh, Mr. The Honorable Matthew ZB Dablo, all those that took part in this process that we have today show the fact is almost over. It is never the publisher to give our final finished product now. I just want to say thank you, Hatele. But I won't complete this process until I speak on behalf of the Ministry of Education to Dr. Upal. Oh, thank you. Dr. Upal, I don't know how to praise her. You know, when we started this process, the woman had a serious problem with me. I canceled the whole procurement process for textbooks. To find a consultant, the process I met on, I canceled it. So both the ministry and the world bank team say, oh, just cancel it, but cancel it, I said, yes, I came from the academic background. Anybody coming to lean on this, as soon as they have the substance, I will know. <laughs> so I'm not accepting it. And then I uh, cancel the procurement process and relaunch it. Should I be a friend? And I said, I don't need a friend. I need a good editor who knows about these books. And they will cancel the process, both the ministry, the world bank have a problem with me, and we'll relaunch it. The day of the interview, we interviewed three candidates from UK, from South Africa, and from Sierra Leone. As soon as we were doing Zoom interview, 
as one well would make that the Upa, then the first few set of sentences are generally that are upon the person of the people. Mm -hmm. In fact, my international procurement specialist then, uh, we say, are you interfering with this interview? All of when you are interfering, why are you interfering with this one? I said, because I found what I'm looking for. And I knew very well that when she joined us, she only provide quality. What we are seeing today is because of all. Clear understanding and spirit in this field. Yes. We really on behalf of Professor Dao Azusoni, the 12 ministers of education, our students in Liberia, our parents, our teachers. Oh. I want to say thank you very, very much for helping us to get this kind of quality of textbook that we are all been yearning for over the years for Liberia. Thank you. I also want to use the opportunity to talk to my junior colleague, uh, Julia. Uh, Julia, I always say something. Qualification or competence is not just knowledge. It's a conglomeration of knowledge, skills, and the right professional attitude. That's what makes up competence. So, if you don't have all the knowledge, if you don't have all the skill set, if you have the right professional attitude, you can be trained yes. to be the best. Yes. Right? Yes. What I saw in Julia was total commitment with passion to this process. She's always willing to learn. She's always asking the questions. She took Shirita like a model. I want you to help me to mentor me and coach me to be like you. They have far different backgrounds. She's from the science background. There's a grammarian, an editor, and a textbook specialist, but also a journalist. <laughs> She's a journalist, let me get let you know this. Yes. So that's why she was able to make it the way she made it. And Linda, avail, Julia availed herself through her in the process. And I believe that the relationship is not going to stop here. Mm -hmm. They will continue. Later on, Julia will be one of the ones to reckon with in Liberia sure. in terms yes. of textbook yes. development. Yes. And test book. So thank you very much for giving us all your time. I have a colleague standing here to come and join me. <laughs> oh, and that is Mr. Lauren Estela. I don't know which kind of deputy I could get at Mr. Tina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I will throw all my work on him. And he's never complaining. He has never ever complained. He supported this process through our revenue evaluation period here, Mr. Abu. Very supportive. He has helped us through our for all requesting for anything in return. Just want to support to see us succeed. Mr. Taylor, I want to say the kind of team that you have built with me is not professional team, it's a priority team. Anywhere I go and I have opportunity, just trust me and with me. Yeah, I've been a project coordinator before. At the Ministry of Finance and Building Training. And I was looking for somebody to support me, and he came in, and he had no shown like our normal Liberian thing, the thing he didn't have done it before. You know, he just humbled himself, followed me. If you have a guy you're angry, you will find out to come to the office. Amen? I don't think this way you have expressed this. Way. In my view, I think you could do it this way, it would be better. He says so politely, he has guided me all through the process. The power for me to really get the Uloji has not come for you. Yeah. I just want to say thank you on this one, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Now back to Star Book. Mr. Umen. Mr. Umen. Yes. And your and team. team. I want to also appreciate you. I said this in the first sign of the nine books. That this procurement process was not detailed like this. The real description of us adaptation of existing textbooks. No revision and revising to a level that we have done. And your company was willing to work with us to change almost everything we want to change to suit our own environment. Sometimes you can align, align the page setting to change pages to change. So it's almost not reprint. It's a new production. New production. And that was not the plan. The plan was to just take an existing chemistry book. And maybe just where you see gay loser, you go dominate. Okay? <laughs> just like that. There are a few things, not the real content. But we have other content to suit our revised reform yes. curriculum and also suit our worst labels. Uh, and you are willing to accept this. You are patient with us. We have just seen some of the sample outputs. We are hoping to come to India to see the full production before you put on ship to come from Nigeria. We don't want to see Thank
very much. Let me just take this down and see. I'm very okay with this. On this 20th day of March 2023, and then stamp it here for our rights. I would like you to also sign. Receive this from me. Now we are okay with this. Please sign up and give us a copy. Yes, Thank you very much and God bless everyone of us. Also sign.